afternoon, this is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com and I'm here today to go over the racks. Racks actually gapped up last night and the funny thing is I saw that this morning I knew it wasn't a long, I knew it was a short. Now I did not rate this as a bullish gap, but you could have. If you had, it would not have rated well. The fact that the market power trended down today and broke and fell hard helped racks go to some insane target, which is ridiculous actually. It went like $5. But I did not do racks out of the gate as a short, even though I knew it was a short, and even though it was not a bullish gap. I did not do short it out of the gate because of the fact is I'm not shorting gap ups aggressively, which is what you would have had to do to do this out of the gate, but I knew it was a short. Anyways, the fact is that I was in something past my normal time of the day, saw that the market was breaking, and decided to do racks. So I timed a perfect five minute trade with the market and racks at the same time. I do not normally do late trades. However, I was already involved in another trade and I saw the market falling. So I liked a short and I figured, well, I may as well look for a short. And I really had a lot of conviction that racks was lower and it already was lower. But this was a late trade to take. I must be honest with you. I normally am done by 10, but there are days when the market power trends or you see stocks have the potential to go to bigger targets, which you could take a later trade. Normally I'm done and doing something else. Today I had, you know, time and I saw the market and I really, really wanted to find something short with the market today. And it's just as simple as that. Anyways, I did the five minute here with racks. Rallied up, held, held the resistance, shorted it, had a tight stop over 29 and it dropped. I mean, this thing just went to some unbelievable number today. And I was prepared to scalp it. As it turns out, this late entry here where it held was timed so well with the market that it fell right down into itself and I got out. And that was it. I mean, it was a quick train considering the fact that it happened so late in the day. And I'll just show you here timing of it with the market. So the market rallied and the market held the resistance. Now, I didn't short this, but I'm saying you could have shorted this. So you could have shorted the five in the market at the same time as racks. So I timed it with the market short. And I'm not saying that every trade you do after 10, you should time with the market, but a lot of them you should. And if you don't know how to read what the market's doing, then it's hard to do that. But you could do trades on their own late if they swoosh or the gaps are so amazing, like what I would call no chance of failure, you could take it late. Rax was not any type of gap to really go aggressively after. The fact is, I just had a lot of conviction that this was a short, okay? But it would have been the wrong thing to do to aggressively take it in one minute chart into the open. So I didn't. But I did do a late trade in this time well with the market and it worked. And But I had to stop tight. Okay. And it fell. It still fell. So I traded a little bit after the time I normally would today. It all worked out. Really looking for something very, very strong tomorrow. Uh, strong meaning a good gap. Still something weak because I like to do the shorts. Now the market did fall a lot today. A lot of stocks fell with the market today. We'll have to see what we get tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, but I still think we're gonna get something good because there's a ton of earnings out tonight and tomorrow and there will be lots of things to get. But this just goes to prove the point. If you had rated gas racks as a gap up, it would not have rated well to go long. And someone asked about it going long today. I said, no, don't go long, this is a short. But I still you know, followed my rules, did not do it aggressively out of the gate because it was a gap up. But when it broke, and was already underway intraday with the market, it was fine to do as a late trade. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com reviewing racks. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, it's this weekend, August 15th and 16th. Email me at the StockSwish and uh, Melissa at the StockSwish.com if you would like to sign up or register. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see what we get tomorrow.